So hunger has technical definitions about the amount of calories and also uh, food, the diversity of food and nutrition elements. Um, at the UN, there is a definition of food security, which is slightly different than hunger, but it has four dimensions. One is availability of food, access to food, the, uh, the consistency of that food, and the quality of that food. So sort of four dimensions to food security that each has to be addressed to make sure that people have enough food and, and have good nutrition. So we, we live in a world where we produce enough food that all people should be able to eat healthily, and yet about one in seven people around the world don't get enough food to eat. So people call that a distributional issue, but uh, we see it more as a justice issue. Uh, these people have a right to food and are being denied the right, their rights to food. And it's politics and it's the economy. They often are very, very poor, so they can't afford it. Uh, so for us, the questions go much deeper than agricultural production, uh, for example, uh, to issues of governance and politics and, and power. And that's what we mean by food justice. We do need to increase food production. We need to help farmers grow more. But just doing that may not solve our problem. Well, Oxfam doesn't have a, uh, a well-developed position on biotechnology and uh, more general or more specifically on GE technologies. And we've done some investigation about GE technologies in some countries to try to understand whether these are technologies that can work well for small producers, for resource poor producers, for farmers who have limited education or li limited uh, infrastructure. And it's a mixed bag. There are cases where uh, small farmers are taking up genetically engineered uh, seed varieties, and it seems in some cases to work. In others, it doesn't. Overall, it's a very mixed picture, and it's hard to make a categorical judgment about whether it's good or bad. We think it's something to be cautious about. There could be some risks involved, including the sort of commercial relationships, whether these are seeds that are owned by a company and their use is under patent rights, and so it creates a whole new overlay for farmers and countries that haven't previously dealt with those issues and have used much more informal seed systems in the past. So. Uh, some risks involved there, but of course may maybe some opportunities in, in these technologies for, for small producers. Uh, so something that we think is should be looked at carefully, cautiously, uh, and not to the exclusion of many other strategies and technologies, m many of them very old and, and simple, uh, rather than genetically engineering, you could maybe just provide more uh, tractors and uh, irrigation or just uh, better seeds generally, they don't have to be biotech seeds. The GROW program is Oxfam's effort to organize itself and our supporters and to involve many more people in these issues of food and agriculture and justice. And if we do nothing about the future, we think that tens of millions, maybe hundreds of millions of people will continue to face hunger and injustice. Uh, if we do take action, we think hunger is a solvable problem, but not without a lot more work and, and action. So we face challenges from the climate, we face challenges from demand, of higher demand of food, from, from productivity that has uh, not been growing very fast, and from basic inequities in societies. And we need to address all of those issues in order to make sure that all people have enough food to eat at all times.